United's captain, L. Haynes, then started feeling out the aircraft. The situation was getting worse. Point two, class number two, it's the hydraulics. Uh, airplane is uh, emergency controllable here. Controllers immediately cleared the airspace. 232 to center maintain, uh, flight level 290. I'm over your attention, sir. Stand by, stand by. Seconds later. Center United, uh, 232, we're declared an emergency here. We're declared an emergency. By that time, Haynes knew he was in danger of crashing. Sir, we need the works. Uh, 232, we're just uh, having trouble controlling the airplane right now. Would you like to go to Sioux City? Uh, affirmative. 232 was cleared to Sioux City. The plane got over the runway, but just before touchdown, the right wing dropped. Out of 296 aboard, 189 survived. The crew desperately tried to find a safe way to land the DC-10. Captain Alfred Haynes. I have serious doubts about making the airport. Have you got uh, some place near there uh, that we might be able to ditch? Unless we get control of this airplane, we're going to put it down wherever it happens to be. The damage was so severe, the crew had to experiment with engine speed to guide and steer the plane toward the Sioux City Airport. Through it all, the captain and traffic controller Kevin Bachman remained amazingly calm. Since we have no hydraulic braking, it's going to really be a problem. Uh, I would suggest the equipment be towards the far end of the runway. And uh, I think under the circumstances, regardless of the condition of the airplane when we stop, we're going to evacuate. Haynes then instructed the tower to keep them away from the city. You're cleared to land on any runway. <laughs> Do you want to be particular and make it a runway, huh? Pretty well lined up on this one, or I think we will be. At the end of the runway, it's just a wide open field, so, sir, so the length won't be a problem. Okay. They almost made it, but as the DC-10's right wing hit the runway, the jet cartwheeled and came apart. Air traffic controller Bachman. Right after it happened, I had to turn away because, I mean, I really didn't think anybody would come out of it. And then I went downstairs and I cried.